and his sailor found a soldier he would go. So great excitement came upon the house of Mackerel. Me father sold a bog hole to equip him for the war, and me mother sold the cushions of her Sunday jaunt and car. And when brave Andy reached the front, was furious work he made. They pinted him a private in the crocodile brigade. And the sound of Andy's battle cry struck terror to the foe. His foot was on the desert, and his name was Macaron. Well, at least that's what the letter said that came across the phone to Andy's anxious relatives awaiting him at home. The papers say he ran away when he met the foe, but that was quite unlike the style of Andy McElroy. Now one morning, brave Lord Wolseley for a battle felt inclined, and all could see the general had something on his mind. Says he mished after dangerous to face on deadly foe, unless you were true that quite prepared is Andy McElroy. Then Andy cried, I'm here, my lord, and ready for the play. Advancing, cried Lord Wolseley, and let on your trumpets play. Then Ireland, England, Scotland rode together on the foe, but found ahead of everyone rushed Andy Macaron. Well, at least that's what the letter said that came across the phone to Andy's anxious relatives awaiting him at home. The government dispatches had another tale, but no, we won't believe a word against brave Andy McElroy. Now the enemy was up a tree, a spyglass in his eye. To cheer his arm, chivalry, the northern prowess try. But soon he saw a farm of dread and cried in tones of war, A big jeepers, let me out of this, here's Andy McElroy. Then down he hurried from his tree and straight away he ran. To keep appointments, so he said, in distant Cardiff fan. So fled those Arab soldiery like Sansarapo's blow, pursued with much profanity by Andy McElroy. Well, at least that's what he told us when returning o'er the phone to greet his anxious relatives awaiting him at home. So sing a song of triumph and let all your bumpers flow in honor of our countryman, brave Andy McElroy.